Nation. It's a fine day in Lexi Country. No, Jazz Country. We're not about to start fighting right now. You're right, you're right. We'll save it for later. But, girl, anyway, cool, cool the chat starts right, right, right now. now. Brought to you by Education Videos for Students. Let's take a look at our story of the of NBA legend Wills Change Break. Roll to the clip. One of my favorite things to do is play sports. I love them all. There is nothing like hanging out with my friends and watching the World Series or all of the neat commercials when watching the Super Bowl. Like I said before, I love sports. But if I had to choose, my favorite would be basketball. I love watching a good game of hoops, like sitting back watching LeBron dunk the ball or Stephen Curry from the Warriors shooting the lights out from downtown. Like I said, I'm a basketball junkie. But in black history, there were many men who paved the way for today's athletes on the basketball court. Like, have you ever heard of Wilt Chamberlain? Maybe you have heard his nickname, Wilt the Stilt. If not, I'm going to take you back in history with a little lesson about one of the most dominant players in basketball history, Wilt Chamberlain. Now, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania was the hometown of comedian Kevin Hart, Will Smith, and singer Jill Scott, and more. But it is also where Wilt Chamberlain grew up. When Wilt was a little boy, he wasn't like other boys. He actually missed a lot of school because he was so skinny and always sick. Growing up, Wilt admitted that he didn't like basketball very much. For quite some time, he enjoyed track and field and the high jump. But growing up in Philly meant one thing, basketball was king. He eventually started playing basketball because he was so tall. When Wilt Chamberlain played in high school, he was 6 foot 11, before eventually standing 7 foot 1 inches tall. When Wilt went to college, he went to Kansas. Being a Kansas Jayhawk, he surprised all of his fellow teammates. In one of his first games, where the freshmen played the seniors, Wilt scored 42 points over all of his older teammates. He was also known for breaking color barriers. There in Kansas, it was segregated. Blacks were not allowed to go where whites could, but Wilt went wherever he wanted to and ignored those rules and got away with it. One thing that changed the direction of Wilt Chamberlain's basketball career was the retirement of his coach. Wilt did not get along with his new coach and ended up leaving school. This is where he played for another world-famous basketball team. That's right, Wilt Chamberlain joined the Harlem Globetrotters. Of course, when you're balling on the court, scoring points helps you win the game. Let's just say Wilt Chamberlain didn't have a problem with that. He was the first player in NBA history to score over 30,000 points. But wait, it gets better. If you thought that was something, check this out. Wilt Chamberlain is the only player in NBA history to have a 100-point basketball game. Nope, I didn't stutter. Wilt Chamberlain scored 100 points in a single basketball game. That's crazy, right? Now finally, when it comes to the game of basketball, there is nothing like the honor of being named MVP of the league. People like Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Magic Johnson, and more have received the MVP, 
but Wilt Chamberlain was also an MVP. Wilt was so dominant at basketball that in 1966, 67, and 68, he took home the MVP for the league and also won two NBA championships. Wilt Chamberlain will always be remembered in basketball history, and in 1978, he was inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame. Even today, when people talk about the sport of basketball, in the barbershop, at summer leagues, or anywhere, Wilt Chamberlain is a legend on the basketball court and is also listed as one of the 50 greatest players to ever play in the NBA. Y'all, we only have 10 days until Valentine's Day, so be sure to grab your candy gram for $1 when a carnage for two. Time is also running out to a chance to get your yearbook. Order yours in the comments there for only $40. And don't act like that's a lot of money for something that's going to last you a lifetime. Attention, 6th grade is the $30 junior beta fee and for I do to Dr. Bourne down on 6th grade hall by February the 7th to be inducted on February the 27th. On February 27th, be sure to wear your cleanest outfit to be shot. Have a shot to make it on Cougar Chat. Let's take it to those sports of the roll the intro. Amigos, the two, two peas in a pot. Cougar Chat is out. out.